You can use two features to start modeling dynamic startup and shutdown behavior, the initialize and terminate function blocks and state reader and writer blocks. The initialize and terminate function blocks respond to events to model explicit initialize functions. The state reader and writer blocks reset and record states during model execution. The state reader and writer blocks can be found both inside the function blocks and can also be found outside it. This model of startup and shutdown behavior is based on the state of a key and a battery. It has initialize and terminate functions as well as state reader and writer blocks. The model has essentially three parts. The physical environment, which is the battery and the key. The software environment, which tells the engine when to run. And the controllers in the engine. When the physical environment changes, meaning the battery or key values, the software can initialize, reset, or terminate the controller. The model is comparing what happens when a controlled power down writes to non-volatile memory and when it does not. When the car starts, the key monitor subsystem continuously checks the value of the key and battery. This initial running of the key monitor runs before the engine starts to run. This is the power-up phase for the engine control system, which is that subsystem called engine runtime. At the end of this phase, the engine will be initialized. The initialize event is invoked by this state flow chart, engine scheduler. If we go inside engine runtime, we will have two functions, an initialization function and a reset function called memwrite. Inside the initialization function, we have a simple algorithm using a state writer block. We use a simulink function caller block to get a value from non-volatile memory and write it to a state specified in the state writer block. If we click on the state writer blocks link, we can see that the state being written to is the state of the unit delay block and the unit delay block will run from that value. Now we enter the normal runtime phase for the engine. If we go back to the scheduler though, we can see that the engine can terminate. That can be a controlled power down when the key is turned off or an uncontrolled one when the battery is too low. In the case of the battery dying, we do not write to the non-volatile memory. In the case of the key being turned off, we have a reset event called memwrite where we read the state value off that same unit delay block and write it to non-volatile memory. Now you can explicitly write to discrete states using state reader and writer blocks in your model. You can use initialize and terminate functions to respond to events to model explicit initialization and termination. And this combination is very powerful for starting to model dynamic startup and shutdown behavior.